Okay, welcome back to the Get Rank system. Now in this video what we can do is we're going to go ahead and get stuck into it and start to put together this automated traffic and backlinking system. Now we've gone ahead and we've assessed our site and we've made the required changes, we can obviously go ahead and, and move on to the next stage. So let's get started and we'll set up the backlinking automation system. Now the first thing that we need to do is I'll go explain to you the top four things that Google looks at to establish their rankings. Now these are things that I have noticed through my testing. Nobody knows the exact methods, obviously, but these are this is working right now. One is relevancy. Okay, Google looks at how relevant your site is to the overall topic and the search term or search terms you're trying to rank for. So it's not good enough just to be ranking for one keyword anymore. Um, you've, you've got to sort of cover a bit more of a broad topic. It has to be extremely relevant to that topic. Two is the site authority. So Google looks at your site's authority. Now that is based off how many relevant quality sites are linking to your domain. Okay, so you need good quality uh, websites, authority websites that are relevant to your subject or to your niche linking to your domain. Okay, So Google basically they want to see what authority sites think your site is relevant enough to give you a link or to link to you. Internal link juice which is power passing. Okay, Now Google also looks at the power of the links that are linking to your internal pages and posts. They follow that link juice to whatever the internal page you link to. So in other words, if you've got a big website linking to an internal page of yours, and then that internal page links to your main post, obviously the main post is going to get majority of that link juice, okay? Because the internal linking plays a big part. So it's extremely important to have all your internal linking leading at, leading at some point to your main post, okay, to the one that we want to rank for. And the fourth thing, which is what this is all about, is the social popularity on all sites you're link in your linking profile. So we're going to build a small linking profile, and we must make sure there's social popularity. Without social presence and social popularity, there's no reason why Google's going to rank us. So Google looks at the social popularity of your posts and websites, but it also then checks the popularity of the site or sites you are getting your links from. Okay, so say for instance you've got a dormant website uh, and it's sending lots of links to another website. That website's not receiving much juice because your, your particular website's dormant. So, if your site, for example, has a thousand backlinks, okay, they're relevant or not, doesn't really matter, and no one is talking about your site or the sites that are linking to you on any of the social networks, okay, then Google will look at these as weak or more than likely they'll look at them as fake links, like a, like a private blog network that's not maintained. On the other hand, if your site has just, say, let's say 10 backlinks and plenty of people are talking about your site and the sites that are linking to you on lots of social networks, then Google will deem this as extremely relevant and it's obviously what people want to find. So in turn, they're going to rank you better. So your rankings will go up and obviously so will your traffic. Now what we want to achieve is to have a few high authority assets that we own that link to our own domain and to our main post. But we also want the site and all of these authority assets to be getting shared as well. We want it to be getting liked and tweeted and talked about in the social networks. Not just our website, but the websites that are linking to us. Okay, Our entire social linking profile. The key is we want to set this up to run automatically so we can get on and, and do other stuff. To do this you would you know you normally have to spend a lot of money, you have to hire a lot of people and that way you can go and get it done that way. Okay? One option. The other option is you can spend hours and hours and hours every day to do this effectively yourself, which is not overly effectively because you've still got to convince other people to like and share your stuff. Now I'm going to show you how we can actually set this up to be a semi-automatic system. Okay, This is going to give you the extra traffic that you're going to need and it's going to boost your rankings and increase your organic traffic from the search engines. So this is a few things we're going to need. Now here is exactly what we'll need to set this up. One, we're going to need two Web 2.0 properties. Okay, now You've probably heard these before, and, you know, like the Blogger and WordPress.com, all that. That's what we need. We need two of those. We have to have a minimum of two to three unique articles on each of those. Now, you're really thinking, oh, God, I've got to write articles. No, these articles I usually get outsourced, and we can get it all done for like $10, $15 at the most for the whole lot. All right? So not a real issue. You can write them yourself if, if finances are small. Uh, if you have an article spinner, you can use that, but I'd be very careful because you want to make sure it's fairly unique. Facebook page. We need a Facebook page. Now this is something that you should already have. If you've been following my training in Google Cache Explosion, you would you should already have this, okay? If you don't have this, I'm going to be showing you how to get all this set up and done. It's very, very simple. 
YouTube video, this is also something that you should have already done. Now, if you've been following the training, you will. If you haven't, this is something that I'm going to run you through as well on how to get done. Now, it's extremely important that your YouTube video description has your site's URL in the first two lines. Okay, the, the last one is a free retweet, follow, and like software. We'll be using a software that's going to allow us to automate the initial social connections, okay, and it's going to start to build the authority and social presence of our linking structure. Okay, so that's extremely important. And five, auto follow and auto schedule PMs. We'll also need a software that's going to allow us to join in and follow these niche related people. And then it's, we're going to automatically send them private messages. Now this is just how, I'll give you an explanation of how it all works in a diagram. Okay, the best I can. So you've got your site and you've got your main post. Okay, we have a Facebook page, we have a YouTube video. One Web 2.0 and another Web 2.0. Okay, now obviously all of these are going to lead into your site and your main post. Okay, but each of those will also have some links elsewhere as well to make them look non-spammy or non-purposeful for the initial reason of linking. Then we're going to have this like, share, tweet and follow software that's going to go out and start to get us retweets and likes and shares on all sorts of other people's social properties. Okay, so it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and it sort of multiplies and duplicates. Then all of those are going to be directing to our YouTube videos, Facebook page, our site, main post, web 2.01 and two. Now that is flowing the link juice through these ones and straight to our site as well through social networking. Now, the ones that follow us through these, this software are going to go into this, there's going to be lots and lots and lots. Basically, they're going to go get put into an automatic system that's going to automatically follow them back and PM them, okay? And it's going to get us more leads and obviously it will produce more links for us. Now, the auto follow system is going to then spit these people out through the private messages. So a series of them will go out and it's going to direct them to our main post or our site. So it's going to go straight back up to our main post or our site. Okay, so you can see the structure there. Now, what we're definitely not doing is building 50 Web 2.0 websites and then another 50 Web 2.0 and then linking them through to each other and linking all of them through to the main post. Okay, now that is, is, a, is a terrible method to do. Uh, you only need a few authority properties. So our authority properties is the YouTube video, our Facebook page, our Web 2.0s. And what gives them the authority and the power is all of the social sharing Okay, but at the same time, our website is getting social sharing, but the links that are being sent to our Web 2.0s, Facebooks, and YouTube channel is going to send the juice straight through to our site and main post. Okay, so by doing this, we're going to be able to create, it's, it's a real system with real people that are actually creating a buzz about our website and also about the sites that are directly linking to us. Okay, now this is going to create a social discussion and very powerful high authority backlinks from hundreds and hundreds of other people and it will build and build and build. Okay, there's also the benefit that we do very little work to keep this going. All right? Once it's set up, you really only need to spend one, maybe two hours a week to keep increasing your rankings and your traffic through using this method. So let's jump straight in now and get started actually putting it together. Now you have a good understanding of what it all is. Let's set up our Twitter account. This is the vital key, the vital part that is going to link everything together. Twitter also allows us to get a huge positive backlink. So that's what we're going to set up first is our Twitter account with our positive backlink. After that, we're going to be utilizing the final two tools. Now, once these are all set up, everything will work on semi-autopilot, so there's nothing really you need to do. I usually spend maybe an hour to two hours at the very most per week to continue the process, okay? This is going to bring in traffic. It'll increase your rankings. It's going to build a social following that you can actually um, connect with and, and promote to as well. And it's going to create a long-term link structure that you will own. So you don't have to worry about any bad links coming through. And this will build daily in a social aspect, okay, which is what Google wants to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the next important thing, obviously, is to set up our Twitter account. Now, you're probably thinking, I have got a Twitter account already. Why do I need to do this again? The reason being is because we want to make this a sort of like a brand name or a Twitter account that is basically only occupied by people that are interested in that particular niche or the particular product that we're promoting. Okay, so we don't want to be too too broad. The reason that is we want to get particular followers that are only after a particular thing. 
Now, you also want to involve your main keyword or an LSI keyword as well, and we can go ahead and put our links in. Okay, so it's very important. So I usually create a new Twitter account. You can have as many as you want. Just going to get a new email address. Um, I just create a new Twitter account for every one of these campaigns that we run. All right, so what we need to do, new Twitter account, if you haven't done it before, you need to give yourself a, a name. Okay, so now the name is going to be your LSI keyword. So this is what you want to do. Now I'm doing obviously MSpy reviews. MSpy, okay, because that's obviously got to be your uh, an LSI keyword. Uh, email address, in a, a different email address I got there. And I'll give it a password. And we'll do that one more time. Okay, so there you go. Now we just create the account. Um, you let them know what area you're in. Very, very simple, obviously. Your phone number in there if you want to, or you can skip username. So this is what you want to do. You want to make sure your username is the same, if you can, the same as what you've you've um, selected for your account. Now, it might not be available. Uh, at name. So when you hashtag, basically. So you, you can be used as a hashtag as well. So it's going to work very well, and we'll get into that a little bit later on. Okay, so MSpy Reviews, I'll use that one. Uh, if you can, use your exact same username that you had before. If not, go with uh, at your main keyword or another LSI. Then we'll click to get in. It's going to give you a couple of suggestions, ask for people didn't meet and so on as well. What I would tend to do here, depending on your niche, try and find something that's related. So I haven't got... Um, and we'll go continue. Okay, so you, you don't even have to friend anyone here. This is not really a thing we're doing. Uh, so I unselect all them. I don't want to start following all these random people because they're really not overly targeted. Okay, yeah, no, don't want to follow any of those. Okay, now very important. You must make sure you complete your profile. Okay, if you don't complete your profile, the next two softwares that we're going to use will not allow you to link them in together. Okay, so it's got to be done so you don't look like some sort of a, a spam bot or something as well. Okay, so you're going to upload a photo. So all you do is you just uh, upload a photo from your computer. Let's go and grab one. Now, tend to try and get the product image would be the good one, a good way to go. Uh, and that's exactly what I'll do as well. And then we just adjust how you want it to sit. And that's about as good as I'm going to get. You can make it bigger or smaller. Apply that. Now, do you want to connect with other people? No, we don't want to do that. You can if you want, but we do not. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to just confirm everything. We just need to confirm. So you just go basically go over to your email address and confirm that you got it. Uh, once you've done that, then it's almost set up. Okay, so I'll just go and do that. Uh, what we want to do is go into our profile and settings. We want to view our profile. Now, the very first thing you want to do is edit your profile. We need to start putting our links in here. What's going to happen is there is not a whole heap of do follow links in the Twitter feeds, okay? But these bio links are always going to give you a backlink. So the more popular and authoritative your Twitter account come, becomes, the better as well. Your Twitter feeds and the retweets and all that are going to send traffic to your website, which is going to increase the the um, optimization of the search engine as well. We're also going to send them to other places to build the authority of that as well. And those are the Web 2.0s, our YouTube videos as well, so and our Facebook page, which of course links all back to our main website. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to understand the, what we're doing here. Now in here, you just simply want to type up a quick message that's interesting and explains what your Twitter account or what your Twitter profile is all about. Okay, so just go ahead and, and type in something. I'll just go and do that now. Okay, so as you can see, I've just typed in basically a couple of LSI keywords. I'll put the main keyword in there as well within my URL. So we've got... Now our pen name here now is mspy reviews, so it's at m, uh, hashtag mspy reviews, so at mspy reviews, so that's what the hashtag we can use as well. That would also be a very very good hashtag. Now mspy monitoring app, obviously that's our profile name. Now mspy monitoring app is a group of dedicated professionals in providing the best advice on the latest sell spy apps. mspy, okay. And then I've just put a link to my main post. Alrighty, don't want to overdo it on the URL. Pick, a, pick an address or a location that you're closest to, and then you want to put your website. Now, your website is where we're going to get our link as well. So, MSpy Reviews, and I'm just going the URL. You also, you can choose a different theme color. MSpy is all very blue, so I'll go the light blue color. Uh, now, you, you do need to put a birthday in. It can be your birthday, it can be the date that the product was launched, um, whatever you want. But, okay, so once you've done that, then you click on Save 
Okay, your profile has now been saved. So as you can see here, it's starting to look a little better. It looks more professional, and it's got our links where we want them. Alrighty. Now, you'll notice too that this reads like this, but what happens is they actually put a... I'll move this over so you can see. All right, so that's all you need to do setting up your Twitter account. Uh, now, you want to do each one of these for each of your different Google Cache Explosion sites, okay? There is no need to tweet anything or do anything yet. There is nothing else we need to do. There's no need to follow anyone or anything. Just leave it as is, and then we'll move on to the next step.